Liverpool again. It's Pierce, it's knocked down. It's Matthew Jackson by Johnston. 1 1. Now you'll enjoy this. Uh, really an excellent build up, a fine team goal altogether, rounding off a 4 0 win. Most importantly, it got Maurice Johnston off the mark. Eberl gaining control in midfield. Another of those sweeping crossfield passes by Beardsley. Simply a joy to watch. Beagree tantalizing. Andy Hinchcliffe on the burst. And a two touch finish by Mojo, which brought the house down. an embarrassing element of farce with goalkeeper Peter Schmeichel a stranger to his European Championship brilliance as he confirmed that goalkeepers don't make outfield players Morris Johnson was the grateful recipient and United's aftermatch verdict involved words like sick and embarrassed another of the bookies favorites for the title were Aston Villa where Ron Atkinson had put the finishing touches to the reconstruction of his team. They soon showed why they were so well fancied, creating chance after chance but still failing to score. Eventually the storm died down and in the last minutes of the game Peter Beardsley provided a telling pass to Mo Johnston who cleverly flicked it in to score on his first appearance of the season. Barry Horn's back, Mo Johnston keeps his place up front, Tony Cotty doesn't even make the bench. Changes forced on Howard Kendall because both Alan Harper and Andy Hinchcliffe as fullbacks are unfit and watch for a surprise formation. Yes, in recent games he and Howard Kendall's opted for five at the back, three sets of half. But I think tonight what you'll find is it'll play Martin Keown in a right back area because he'll definitely be concerned about John Barnes there. In the midfield, Ian Snowden will just protect his back four and obviously number eight, Peter Beers, they will roam free all over the place. Well, as for Liverpool, who came out onto the pitch very early indeed, just to sample this Goodison atmosphere, a very special atmosphere, they are without David Burrows, of course, who will be sadly out for three months with knee ligament damage. That gives a chance for Mark Wright, who's had such a troubled 1992. The informed Ronnie Rosenthal is back from World Cup duty with Israel. Ian Rush won't be risked, though he is near to full fitness again. Paul Stewart and the fit again Mark Walters on the bench for Liverpool. Yeah, one injury worry for Graham Soonis, but no worries for his formation. Look for that familiar one in recent weeks of the five-man midfield and the single attacker in Ronnie Rosenthal. But watch for Hutchison joining him on every occasion. Ronnie Rosenthal in wide dangerous position here as far as ever concerned. Nickel trying to curl one. Not too successfully. Keep Nick. Lobbing it back in. And a flag was up on that far side. Him suddenly in the last couple of minutes. It's cleared away in the end. The effort was from Torben Pietnik. And Watson was there. Jones. Too long for Rosenthal. Oh. Redknapp getting in an important little toe. McManaman on one of those typical runs of his. Well done, Billy Kenny, to get the important interception in. Peter Beardsley. Giving the ball away to Liverpool. Barnes. Rosenthal. Barnes making the run through. Very, very important interception. For Mark Wright. Well, you can't give someone a Mark Wright's ability in the air. A free header from six yards. It's awful. It's in the air a long time. But watch this. He goes up almost alone. Mark Keown's not close enough. And Neville Southall has no chance. Look at Mark Keown there. He jumps behind Wright. And that's fatal. Beagree with the cross. Who's there, though? Johnston and Everton are level. That's their incredible great turn from Morris Johnson and it didn't look as if he'd got anything on his shot watch this it's a lovely little ball in from Snowden watch the way he turns away from Picnic and deliberately calls a beautiful shot past Mike who 
goalkeeper. How is that for a reply? Well, he just loves scoring in derby matches. He did it in this fixture last year. He's done it again this time. The instant riposte from Everton. 1-1, and suddenly this game is alight. And Guillaume Sunnis will be absolutely living. In the same way that Manchester United scored his move. He something better than that, didn't it? be more problems here for Everton Barnes trying to eat this one through but Everton just riding their luck in that moment somebody up there liked Everton a moment or so ago from that shot from John Barnes he plays it and runs behind Keown man of a surprise of all what about that for a strike Neville Southall a happy man there to see that come back off his upright that all up Barnes is short. Oh, lovely strike again from Barnes off the outside of the foot. Great football all round, wasn't it? Since he's come on, Peter Beagle, when he's run at people, has caused him problems. Ties Mark right up there. Hooper can't hold the shot. And Bearsley must think that's going in the net. I can't believe it's going wide. Paul Stewart's coming on, and it looks like it's going to be Don Hutchison who is coming off. Paul Stewart. Man signed from Spurs in the summer. He's had a well scored for both clubs in Merseyside derbies. Only the second man in history to do it. But more important than that, Everton a 2 1 up. Well, the Everton's Liverpool connection combines quite brilliantly on this wide side. First, Beersley's artistry, but look at that for a first time pass from Gary Ablett. And Beardsley's done this too often to be surprised at the concluding result. Just watch the way he controls it in an instant and picks his spot. Well, what are the Liverpool fans going to be feeling now? How many times have they seen Peter Beardsley do that in a red shirt, Andy? Barnes on the near post with the header. Oh, and how did that stay out? Oh, that's incredible, yeah. He that, can't believe it. I can't believe it. What a let off again. Watch, he gets ahead, and he's on Peter Beagle, and it's not real fun. Gets a flick. There's the other touch. It's through Torben Picknick's legs, and out for a goal kick. McManamo headed it on, and Picknick <laughs> just went straight through him. It seemed to pass through him almost by osmosis on the far post. Everton get it back again. Beardsley, they're going to look to eat up the time. Barlow is really struggling now. He can hardly run. Well, he can't run. He's walking. Oh, dear. And you just wonder now, Rick, ten men or not, whether he should come off the field and not risk aggravating that anymore. Oh, he'll steal. Look at this fellow. He's struggling, isn't he, though? Really stays tight hamstring. And there goes the whistle. Everton have won it. It's only their second home win. It's the first time they've beaten Liverpool in a derby since 1987, 1988. That's what it means to those fans in blue. And there's no doubt at all about the Everton hero. It's the former Liverpool player, would you believe? Peter Beardsley with a late winner. <laughs> you think they've just won the cup for you? This is how important I felt that this game was to